What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. We are coming with another video. Um, today I am just doing, uh, I gotta install the nitrous kit. Um, there's a private track run to today. I'm gonna try and see if my tuning can get Supra into the nines. We'll see what happens, all right? So. All right guys, so today we are just installing the nitrous kit. I have to install it as private track runs today, so we'll see if my tuning can get this car into the nines, if it acts right. But yeah, we'll see, and I'll show you guys the process and take you along. So as you guys can see, I took out this panel that covers the battery, um, just mounted these right here. This is how I had it on my white Supra and it worked out pretty well. Uh, I have this right here by uh, Innovative Motorsports. They have this, I can actually use a Cobalt 24 volt battery to actually warm up the bottle as it's plugged in. So this is mounted, just gotta put the nitrous bottle in. I actually have to weigh it, make sure that I have a spray, enough spray. I don't know what happened to my, the weigher, but I don't know where she put it, so. I have to weigh the nitrous bottle, make sure there's nitrous in there, um, make sure that I have batteries that are fully charged to warm up the bottle tonight. And test and tune, it's not test and tune, but it's a private rental from I think four to 11. So I have all night to figure out how to get this car into nines and we'll figure it out guys. We're currently at the track. The Supra is right there just waiting. Currently, what, 100 degrees outside? Pretty much. Yeah, probably. About 100 degrees outside. It says 95, but it's probably a little bit hotter than that. But we're still going to go down the track, make sure that the car shifts right. It doesn't do any limiters, nothing like that. Just start off on low power. Um, now that race ROM is out, I have four modes. Uh, I can still control the boost. I'll start off with like 18 PSI, see what that does in mode one. Uh, mode one, I have set to very low timing. So pretty much it's on full 85, but mode one is set to pump gas timing. Um, mode two is just a little bit more, maybe like two or three more degrees. Map three is what I dynoed with. Um, and map four is pretty much all the timing that I know the car can take on full 85. So I'll start off with 18. It's really, really hot outside. So I know that my um, intake temps are gonna be skyrocketed. Uh, I took off the filter off the turbo. I'm sitting in the car right now cause it's super hot outside. Once again, we're at a track rental. Uh, from 4 to 11 so hopefully it actually you know cools down get a good pass um, I'm hoping to get a really really good pass uh, the main thing is that I want to get a lot of data and make sure that the car runs right it ran right on the dyno but as most of you guys know the cars um, out on the street they tend to you have to mess with them just a little bit make sure that they shift and all that especially with the higher horsepower cars because the trans starts slipping and all that so we'll see what we do um i did have the nitrous installed uh i think there's a 35 jet in there right now and that's what i'll start off with um just hitting off the line just to get a good 60 foot and then turn it off for the rest of the pool um i want to see kind of where i can get with just boost alone what type of time i can get i do have the stock um spark plugs in there so i don't know how much you know boost i can actually push before we start getting the misfires but if there's no limiters or anything i feel like i'm gonna have to fight some limiters at least we don't have to wait in line and we can go down the track as many times as we want until 11 o'clock tonight so i'll keep you guys updated as the passes go on i'll try to record every single one and i'll let you guys know As 
I am letting this flash. First pass, it's still really, really hot. I'm just doing passes just to make sure that it actually goes down the track. Uh, that pass, right when it shifted into fourth, it hit a drivetrain error um, limit. Uh, I did notice my fuel trims. It wanted a little bit more fuel up top. So uh, I'm adding that back in, changing just a few tweaks here and there. And then I'm gonna make another pass. So hopefully once it gets to fourth, it shifts right into it and it doesn't have any shifting issues um i'm not sure i think it is just because of that um the fuel trims were just being too high up there uh up top right when it shifted but we'll, we'll have to see um that's the problem with these cars uh once you take them off the dyno they should you know work well but you have to do some tuning to it on the street so that's what i'm gonna do um flashing it right now changed up a few things just to see if those were the issues that I was having and uh, get back at it, all right? It's only uh, it's only 5.30, it's still hot. It's still 95 degrees outside. The DA temp on the draggies said like 2,500 uh, feet. So it's really bad out today, guys. So just did pass number two. It is still pretty hot outside. Air intake temps are getting right around 140 by the top end yeah. so it's still pretty hot outside uh, i did have this on low boost so right at 17 psi right now with low timing so literally uh for any tuners that are watching this it's running about pump gas 93 timing right now at 17 psi um uh, and that pass was uh, it actually shifted this time through fourth so the adjustments that i did make actually did allow it to shift let's see this pass this pass wasn't too good but i mean it is on low power uh 17 psi 93 timing on 485 that was the pass so 60 foot i last time i was here i cut 17 so it's definitely gonna suck but um yeah it was 11.5 at 1 120. it's pretty bad all right pretty pretty bad for what i do have done to the car but i haven't turned it up yet so um I just wanted to make sure that it shifted. Now that I know that it shifts, I'm gonna turn up the boost just a little bit more and then probably go up to like map two and see what it does. So I'll keep you guys, man, this thing just completely went dark. So sorry about that. But I'll show you guys what uh, what the next pass does. Also, just to show you this log real quick, um, right here, throttle, literally stays open the whole time, but I do have these dips. So I still have to work out these dips that most tuners have. Um, it's dropping to about, I think 50%. Yeah, about 50% throttle at these drops. So I'll turn up the boost, see what it does and go from there. Well guys, um, track day didn't go as expected. Uh, it literally started pouring like big time. And uh, yeah, we're currently waiting at a gas station. So um, didn't do a really good time. Uh, the car was just acting up at the track. I couldn't figure out um, with the number of passes that I could do it. Kept going up on some things, kept going down on some things. So um, I think I may have figured it out, but it started raining. So we are making progress, guys. Um, I know this car makes a lot of power. It should make a good time. But even though the cars make good on the dyno, it's at the track is where it counts and if the car does what it's supposed to. So. Um, Obviously tonight we didn't leave with a good time, but I'm happy anyway I got to get some collect some data change some things in the tune that I needed to change and that's all that matters So the next track rental we are going to go full force and hopefully it doesn't rain and we're able to run a good time So thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed the video seeing the process of trying to run a quick time Then you know like the button if you have any questions ask in the comment box below if you're new to the channel Please hit subscribe peace out